Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go over the AM Silver Bullet for Monday, June 24th. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on the Kraken visuals and just look and see that we've got a lot of bearish PD rays, fair value gaps. There's one hour fair value gap right here. There's 15 minute, 15 minute, five minutes, all right here. All right, so we're obviously bearish, right? Um, I'll turn that off for a second. All right, look at that. Actually, let's shrink this down and let's go like this. Let's turn on the Kraken Silver Bullet Pro and let's see where everything's at here. Let's see what we can take off. Now, everything obviously inside the kill zone high and low in the AM Silver Bullet area is all traded through, so we can take those out. Uh, so Asia high, let's see, has been taken. Asia low is done, so let's remove that. London high has not been taken. London low has. So let's turn on London low. AM session. Sell side here. I don't know where. Uh, buy side is. So let's take that off. It's way high. New lunch sell side here. Um, high is up here. Uh, it has not been taken. So let's take off the low and PM has been taken so let's remove that let's also let's also take off the previous day low and previous week low as well previous week low oh where's previous week high at alright cool I'm gonna leave that on don't need it alright so that's where we're at here I have the crack in volume to show you the volume candles uh, one of the six indicators you get for the Kraken suite of indicators that are just $29 a month and you get six indicators. Uh, there will be two released in July, so you'll have eight indicators. Um, so, uh, yeah, you'll have more indicators. It's for $29 a month. And one of these uh, new indicators that are coming out, there that there is a similar indicator. Um that someone else has created that they sell for 20, uh, it's either 20 or $25 a month just for that one indicator. And you get all of my indicators for $29 a month. Uh, it's really, you can't beat it, but, uh, either way right now we're at this hour here. So let's see uh, what we have. We have the kill zone high here, kill zone low. We're in this range. So we want to take one and then aim for the other, right? It's just basic, um, session liquidity targets, right? All right, so let's let's continue on here. Okay, <laughs> volume candle. Usually vo high volume candles, the reason I like them uh, on my charts is because when I'm trading live, I toggle this on and off. Sometimes when I have a lot of other markings on, all this colorful candles, I, 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 it, it blinds me, so I gotta turn it off. But while there's relatively blank right now, uh, I like to have it on, and the volume candles, I know they tend to get traded into halfway, but we did just take this New York kill zone, which is good. So I'd like to see it. Uh, okay, we'll look to show you. And then there's halfway it trades back into it. I could go higher, but uh, it does usually like to get traded into, back into. I would like to see us take that higher, make a nice market structure shift. Fair value gaps holding. This is how I'm watching it live. I don't have to mark out the fair value gap to see that this this fair value gap, just like these these blue and this pink uh, is fair value gaps on this time frame from the Kraken Silver Bullet Pro. If I turn this off, you'll see those go away. I like to have those on because they just show me where all the fair value gaps are uh, without having to have big, long uh, rectangles on my screen. So that's a benefit of using that. Um, okay, so there you go. That's nice. Let's see if that swing, if we continue to go, because we just swept this high here. So now let's make this a breaker block if we trade through it. So let's put that here. That'd be a breaker block if we traded through it, right? So that's a minimum, that's what I got to see. I'd like to see some SMT though. So let's see if there's any SMT with ES. Hi, hi, there's not, okay. I'm gonna show you the Dow, uh, ESU, YMU. Here you go. 
no SMT there either. Right? So. Okay, so there's no SMT right now, which I'd like to see, but uh, market trigger shift is, is still good. I'd like to see that as well. All right, now I believe that there is actually SMT with YM, so let's look at that. So you have, let me just make it really big for you. I have this on another screen, that's why I can tell you that it's there. This is going up, this is going down, this is YM. So there's SMT with YM, and we just had our market structure shift, so now we're good. If we trade back into this, I will take a short. That didn't hit it. It did, but it's too low. Oh, crap, I have to take that, don't I? Okay, so we're going to sell there. This is what I don't like about, about uh, trading view. It's because ideally, I would have had my stop, or we would have targeted there, 20 would have been above the, the breaker. But since it's here, now my, my stop's in the middle of the breaker, which you don't really like. But I'm not going to do more risk because of trading view, because it's they're being stupid with their system. So... I'll go here and see how it how it goes. Uh, ideally, I like to just aim for the kill zone low. So let's see where that is. That let's see let's see what that is. It's, it's, that's ninety five. Oh, I want to go to ninety. I want ninety. I want ninety. I really want hundred, but I want to aim for this low here. See, had I moved it up, it would have been, you know, a 95 right there, which would have been great. Okay, so we're in right now. We'll see how this trades into, let's see if I get taken in or out here with this. Ugh, I don't like that. don't like that because it's close to my stop because of the way trading view did it. Uh, I should have put my stop where I had, where I actually had my... Stop where I should actually put it. Now, I like a red candle. That tells me there's a lot of volume, so we can be trading into it a little bit and maybe down further. Uh, but there's a lot of sellers and volume. I like the volume. I got like that. We're going to go... Uh, I don't know. I don't want to go break even yet. Yeah, we'll go break even. We'll just go above this for a uh, Yeah, let's go break even right here. Why? Because I'm so low here. I would go break even up here, but it, it's because I'm so low here, and, and I'm and I don't really. I just don't like it. I just don't. The trade does. I'm not not a huge fan at the moment. That I do like. Uh, so three PDRA rule one two. I'm just below the third, so I give myself hundred dollars. Trading into it. Does it hold? That that fair value gap's holding right now, which I like. Ooh, don't like that. Do not like that at all. Okay, so here's your choice. Now you have a fair value gap that got traded into, a fair value gap that got traded into, and the third one's right above us. So we could be taken out right here, knowing that we could be easily taken out. That's you know. That's what happens. Down. Oh, yes. Okay, so that is a great sign uh, of volume. Uh, and yeah, if we looked, if we took our, so if we took our, our FIB, and obviously from this high to this low, price just comes into equilibrium. You see that? It's from this high to this high. Now, if we, let's just put on this line chart here. And let's, well, I'm just trying to get all the stuff out of the way here. If we have this, I gotta click on this. If you moved it to this high, it came back up into 0.62, right? If you came back up into this high, the most recent swing, high to low, it came into optimal trade entry, right? 
So one of the things that I do a lot when I'm trading live is I toggle through a lot of different things, and it's impossible to show everything I do live uh, on a uh, recording video explaining how I manage this trade. Um, I am going to start recording some live executions, recording one of my screens uh, that has some of the markings on it, just so you can see how I manage the, the trade live um, when I do those. Um, uh, so you'll see it, but I like to sometimes have this on there to see how big of a retracement, and if it goes past the 71, then I'm out. Uh, so that one was a, was a good retracement. Now we're coming back down, which I like. Uh, so at this point, I don't want to see this 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 high traded back into. I don't want to see it traded into at all. So I move my stop. Purple is nice. Uh, purple's a good a good one. Oh, let's see how far we're going to go here. If fair value gaps holding. I wonder if there's SMT with either, either of these. There is SMT with the ES. Right there, so market structure shift traded through this inversion, kind of entered on this wick here to go higher. I don't know how much higher it's going to go, how high it goes, but at least 40 handles if you want to get. Let's just see how it plays out here. See if it's a market maker buy model or not. Nope, uh, partial one. Okay, well, there you go. What I'm saying is, if you took this, if you had, you notice there's S and P right here. You could have looked for, you know, this inversion here, and as soon as price closed on this candle and this next candle at 10:56, it traded into it. That would have been your entry. And had you took an entry right there, it would have been right here. Stop would have gone down here, and you could have aimed for, you know, three to one. I think you might even get three and a half or four. Do you get four? Oh, you get four. Four to one right there. Could have taken that trade. That's so why if you have a screen that you can actually have SMT on there with or with ES and YM and and monitoring that, that's a great way to find out if you're how your trades are going to perform. Okay, let's do a recap here on this. We came to the ten o'clock hour and uh, we saw that the New York kill zone high was just taken. And then we waited for a market structure shift, and we really wanted to see SMT. We had SMT with YM, the Dow Jones. At the time when we broke through our breaker, making our market structure shift, so that was great. We waited for price to trade back into. It did. We got a crappy entry due to trading view. Uh, but nonetheless, it still worked out. We aimed for the New York kill zone, though. Obviously, when we take a session liquidity, uh, we want to aim for the opposing if we get market structure shift and SMT we want to aim for the opposing session liquidity which we did that's what we aimed for now granted it did go a little lower uh, and you can find back out what it was aiming for even higher time frames uh, you'll find out but right now that's where it went we did come down here and the reason this retracement was is because it came back up into optimal trade entry of the latest swing uh, the latest uh, range came to optimal trade entry and back down, which is fine. Um, not to complete the high to the low, but from the, the current leg, it was optimal trade entry. And it came down and took us out. Now you could have entered like I just showed you uh, when you had S noticed that there was SMT with with ES. Immediately you would know, would assume that you're looking for to go the opposite direction. Look if your market structure shift, which you get here. And you get a, an inversion for value gap here, which you could have entered, and you would have got uh, a good trade there as well. Okay, so that is your AM Silver Bullet for Monday, June 24th, using the Kraken suite of indicators that you can get for $29 a month.